Hello everyone, good morning. This is Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. Guys, welcome back once again to my YouTube channel. And uh, today I'm going to describe you about one of the important topics related to Microsoft Azure AG104 content based video series. So guys, I'm planning to describe you about how we can manage the storage account. Especially we'll discuss about uh, the types of blob storage and how we can utilize our blob services over uh, Azure portal. So let's start our practical, but before we start the practical, if you're new on my YouTube channel, if you're watching my video first time, so you can subscribe my channel because Teach Me Cloud is a single YouTube channel that gives you 100% live practical related to cloud technology, especially in Microsoft Azure, AWS, VMware Virtualization, and Google Cloud as well. So let's start our practical. So guys, as we know about the agenda, so firstly, we just try to understand about the concept of blob storage. We'll also discuss about the types of blob and uh, the work of blob storage. So uh, as you know that in our previous video, we discussed about uh, uh, the types of storage services like we created our storage account, we attached our storage account with the Azure Storage Explorer tool. But in this video, I'm going to describe you directly the types of blob storage, the types of blob storage services which is available in storage account. So what you need to do, you need to create a one storage account first over Azure portal. We need to proceed and create Azure storage account. Okay. So as you know that the storage account contain a four different types of storage services. The single Azure storage account contain four different types of uh, uh, storage services called container. Okay. First storage is container. Second one is file share. Third is related to the table and uh, as we know that the work of table is uh, responsible to contain structured data and queues as well, right? So these four different services you will be get after creating the storage account. But today's agenda to understand about the blob types. So in this video, I'm going to describe you about the step to configure blob only. So, uh, but we also need to know about the storage services which is available in single storage account. So guys, the very first uh, services, container and file share, are responsible to contain the unstructured data. As we know that the, the meaning of unstructured data is related to upload any kind of data like PDF, document, training videos, MP3, or any kinds of uh, video clips you can directly upload over a container or file share. And if we're talking about uh, table and queues, so as per the name, these two different important uh, story services which is responsible to contain only structured data the meaning of structured data is basically if you designed your table in, with the help of uh, SQL, Oracle, Postgres, or Aurora DB, or Cosmos DB, you can directly save your storage. You can directly save your structured storage in table and queues. So here I'm planning to describe you about the concept of blob. So firstly, we just need to know about the work of blob. Guys, blob is a service. As we know that blob is a service which is available in our storage account. And whenever you create a storage account, we are able to see four different options. Whenever you select the container service, it gives you option to upload your on-premises data directly over a, uh, Azure portal. See, whenever you create a container, you need to create a one blob at least. So basically the blob is categorized in four different parts. Okay. Under the container, you are able to find the blob service. And if we talk about uh, type of uh, blobs, so we have a uh, three different types of blob available on Azure Container Services. The first one is block blob. Okay. The first one is block blob. Second one is related to the page blob. Okay. And third one is related to the append blob. Total number of blobs are available in single Azure storage account is categorized in three different parts block blob okay and second is page block and last one is the uh, append blob so firstly we just try to understand about the concept of block block blob so as per the name the block blob can give you option can give you a place where you can upload your any kind of data any kind of unstructured data for example you are planning to upload your on-premises document file PDF file or any kind of video you want to put over the Azure portal. So what you need to do, you need to create a block blob because the block blob can help you because uh, the block blob can give you option to upload your own data. 
but if you talking about page blog so play, page blog is basically uh, you can say, say that read only blog which is responsible to contain the alerts and logs detail no one can make changes in our page blog so basically we can say that we can use the page blog to store uh, store the alerts or logs detail related to your services that you that you created over as your portal we don't have any option to modify your page blog we don't have any option to read your blog by uh, read your data by self and we don't have any option to delete the data from page blog okay so you can also say that the page blog is automatically handled by the azure portal azure backend services and last one is related to the append blog so as per the name the work of append blog if you want to use your services way in very frequently so for example if you created a one virtual machine and as we know that each and every virtual machine contain a one virtual file one virtual hard drive so append blog is basically responsible to store the virtual hard disk of our virtual machine it may be vhd or it may be a vhdx because the append blog is responsible append blog is responsible to provide the high speed to access the data from your append blog services so i'm going to describe you about the blog blog and after that we'll move ourselves to the page blog and we'll also discuss about the append blog blog services so try to understand about the block block service so uh, if we talk about block block so you can directly compare your block block with uh, your google drive with your one drive with uh, your icloud as well so i'm i'm going to describe you from scratch block block okay so as we know that not block it's a blob okay block blob so basically block blob is work just like a google drive so as you know that whenever you create whenever you sign up yourself over a gmail account google can give you 15 gig of a free space you can upload your data and put under the uh, 15 gig of free space that provided by uh, google but if you want to upload more than 15 gig you need to purchase the subscription so if you talking about the pricing related to the google uh i think you need to pay amount up to 130 rupees for 100 gig per month so i'm i'm going to compare our blog blog as your blog blog to google drive you can also say that google drive versus google drive versus uh as your blog fine so as we know that azure will give you sorry not azure google will give you 15 gig of free space on every gmail account correct but if you want to increase the size of your space for example you are planning to purchase the uh, more than you, you are planning to purchase the space from google right what you need to do you need to purchase minimum uh you can say that okay so in 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 case of gmail account you will be get a 15 gig of free space on each email email id but if you want to purchase for example you are planning to purchase more than 15 gig of free space so what's the charges related to uh, our uh, uh, gmail account means you need to pay up to 130 rupees for uh, uh, for 100 gig per month means you need to pay uh, 130 rupees for each and every uh, you can say that uh, you need to pay 130 rupees for 100 gig and every month but if you proceed and upload your data with the azure blog storage blob storage so what you need to do you need to pay amount as per your data not as per your space because if you proceed to subscribe 100 gig per month if you uploaded only 20 gig of space or 25 gig of space although you need to pay 130 rupees but if you proceed and create as your blog based storage and in first month you uploaded 10 gig of space okay 
10 gig of data so you need to pay uh, only and only for 10 gig in next month you just uh, deleted 5 gig data you have only 5 gig data over uh, azure portal so you need to pay only for 5 gig of uh, you need to pay amount for only 5 gig of so it means that google drive can uh, uh, charge you as per the size and azure block block can uh, can charge you as per the space that optimized by that utilized by your data got it so what i'm going to do i'm going to show you the one step to create our azure block block and we'll upload one data and try to access it from outside the network so in our previous video we have already created a what we can say that a storage account so i'm going to show you directly on our azure portal Fine, we successfully log in our Azure portal. What I'm going to do, I'm going to open my uh, Azure storage account. So this is storage uh, part. You need to click here, go to the storage account. And in the storage account, uh, I have already created two different types of storage is training 1988 to web test 1988. So what I'm going to do, just click on Azure uh, web test 1988 and we are able to find this is container service, click here. And in the container, I'm going to create a one container service. You can also say that this is the type of uh, blob with name of data. You should be used the unique name and name should be against case sensitive. I'm going to make it public access. Just click create. Fine. We successfully created a one blob and if we check it, just click here and upload your own data from on premises just click upload select folder or uh, files this is my desktop i'm going to upload one file and upload it the total size of our data it's just 256 kb right and now we successfully uploaded our data from on premises to azure portal and we are able to see this is blob type is block blob so it means that the block blob it means that those data you are planning to upload by self so these types of data considered by block blob service so guys this is the example and if you want to share it to worldwide just click here it will give you one url and by using the url you can access it from worldwide Fine, we are successfully able to access our data that we uploaded in our block blob. So guys, this is the basic information related to the uh, block services, basically blob services, which is available in our storage account. I hope you all of you guys understand about the concept and step to configure it. So this is the agenda that we completed. And um, in next video, I'm going to describe you about another important uh, topic related to Azure storage service. We'll discuss about the Azure file, share, uh, file services because we have already did the part of uh, file synchronization. But in next video, I'm going to describe you about the file share service. So guys, take care and bye-bye. If you have any question or doubt or any suggestion, please drop a comment. Definitely will reach your comment and try to resolve your problem. Thank you guys. Take care and bye-bye.